Generic greetings and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. This is the game where you build and manage an aquarium. It's something that I did a preview on just recently and a fair few people seem to really enjoy it and wanted to see more. So I thought, well, as I'm going to be playing for my own amusement, I might as well make a couple of videos on it and do a bit of a mini series. Now, we're going to be going through the campaign. There's 10 missions in total of the campaign. I don't think we'll complete them all, but, you know, if the journey's good, then the destination doesn't really matter. So we'll do a couple of missions and see how we get on. This is mission number three, right at the start of mission number three out the 10 and the reason why I've restarted this is quite frankly because of a bug um, I uh, was showing mission 3 in uh, my preview however when I I've just just recorded ep uh, episode 1 or what was gonna become episode 1 and I got it right at the end and I couldn't complete it because there's something to do with corals and if you don't place them or they die you can't rebuy them however that was fixed in a patch but only if the uh, game was started after the patch so basically I had to start again so that's why we're here so we're gonna be going through and uh, doing all of the objectives on the right here and just see how far we get on in building a nice aquarium so we need to ensure the centerpiece has a different animals sufficient water quality sufficient heating etc and build additional tanks so let's just crack on with this one this has already got some heater heating and filtering there so we need to put some animals in here so we've got the uh, half and half crumbs which are uh, sure so one two three four that's fine that's their minimum requirement. I'm not going to go through all of the basics again of the game, but basically it means um, a lot of this it has just certain needs on the fish and um, things like that. So we can't be housed with a bully, or rather shouldn't be housed with a bully. Uh, the fox face uh, dislikes food competitors cannot be housed uh, with another species that eat green pellets. Well, we've already got, um, currently got the orange pellets. The Royal Gamma is not a bad one, so we'll go for one, two. There we go. And then what about the uh, Reef Quillfish? That requires a cave, and it's also a shoreless, so one, two, three, four. And because it requires a cave, we will place said cave in that corner there. Uh, we also need some more animals in there. So animals, we've got uh, this one here. This is a red-tailed butterfly fish, size five. Uh, it Warning, may eat... Uh, stony corals, clams, and the other thing we don't have. So we'll place one of those in there. Actually, we'll place, we'll place two in there. And then finally, we've got uh, this thing, which is dislikes itself, basically. So we don't. So we'll put one of them in, and then that's done. So we haven't got sufficient water quality, but we should be able to solve that by the by the application of pumps. So we can. So we're going to place a pump there and then connect it to there. Um, we'll obviously need to feed them and stuff. So we'll sort this out in a moment. Uh, we also need some uh, some more plants in here. Uh, that gives us plant and deep tank only. Well, we do have a deep tank, so we might as well place these in here, and they look quite good on the edge like that. There we are. And we'll place some stones in, probably. Um, stones. Rubble. Maybe not rubble. A bit too big, maybe. Um, and we've got Pacific paint and Tropical Beach paint. Well, I'll be honest. Neither's a good choice. That's Tropical Beach. And that's Pacific. I guess Tropical's not too bad. Nah, we'll, st we'll just stick with whatever. Uh, we'll place an anchor inside, because why not? And that should be us. So, we need to make sure it's all sufficient and ready to go. So, we'll have a another power filter in here. And that's all sufficient heating and everything else. Obviously, there's no food for the fish, so we need to resolve that. It's in um, here. So, it is green pellet and orange pellet there we go we also need ideally a broom stand and a tool station there we go and that's all the basics we will have a couple of people so we've got flick fred uh, nigel hi nigel because he's um, balanced in both things and then uh, Flick's also quite balanced as well. So we'll hire those two and we'll click to open oh no we can't we need to build an additional tank so combined animals there. So, um, what I want to do is I want to make sure that we have enough access for other tanks. Um, so I'm gonna inc I'm gonna buy out back here. Um, probably not too much. How much is that? That's not too bad. So we've bought that out there. And what we'll do is we'll have a tank. We've got lagoon tanks and stuff like that. Um, I think we'll have a, a 
corner tank, actually. Because a corner tank might look quite good. Um, about that size. We'll pick it up. We'll make sure there's at least a gap of three between these. So there's that corner tank in. We'll add a... That there. And we'll put another corner tank in that, that bit there, you see. And this is where we'll uh, fulfil all the needs of it. But... We need to make sure... That this is still functioning. Um, probably a combi heater. Should be fine. Right. So combined... We can see what we need, so... Should be alright. We should have enough money. Hopefully we do. Um, Zebra Mori Eel is pretty good. Two of those. And we need a cave. Which will buy... A driftwood one. A couple of driftwood caves. There we are. And we'll have a couple of sea lettuces in. Right. And we need red for the fish. Um, red dispenser. Put a red dispenser in here. We're going to demolish that because we'll have a doorway in there. Um, but not yet. Not yet. Um, what I'll do is I need another fish. 80. So we need one with... Got some half and half chromas in there. And insufficient water quality, is it? Yes, it is. Darn it. But we should have enough for another filter. Uh, we do, but we can't then walk around, which is a problem. <laughs> we might need to increase the size of this place. Which I'm pretty sure I did before. Because there's just not enough room. I think I did this before. Um... Like that. And then we can move them along. And then fit in all these things. It's very, very easy to fail this mission at the start because you just spend so much money. In fact, you can see my money is uh, <laughs> running right low. And there we go. We are now open. So, this is about corals. So... Curious about corals, collect ones to explore the world of corals, which we have done before. So we'll unlock the disco mushroom. Um, there we go, and unlock the protein skimmer, which we'll do that in a moment. I need to go ahead and place another tank in this corner, and it's probably where we'll put some of the corals, because why not? We'll make an efficient use of our space. So we'll have a corner tank, and that can go in like so. There we go. And that actually looks quite nice. We'll look, research the protein skimmer, because we can. We want to have a... Staff dot in there. We have two staff, and we want some seating. But uh, we want some seating, and we want some benches and stuff like that. Well, benches. We want uh, fizzy drinks machines uh, and bins. So where can I put these? Well, ideally, you don't want them too close. I think there is fine. And then for benches, where would we want to put a bench? Can we place a bench right down the center? Oh, we could, and it would actually look quite decent as well. Like that. And then, naturally, in between the two, bins. Oh, that's good. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that, in fact. Let's have a zoom in. Have a look around. Sweet. We've just got the one eel in there. It feels a bit iffy, just having one. Oh, no, there's two eels. They just Are they hidden? Oh, no, they're not. They're actually right together. Uh, okay, we might have three eels or more shortly. Cool. Anyway, um, so, disco mushroom, protein skimmer, and then build a tank with all of the following. Sufficient lighting and water quality. So, lighting, I think we should have unlocked. So, we have... Oh, no, we don't have lighting in there. It's not in there. Lighting should be... Where is the lighting? I thought it would be in... It's in needs, isn't it? Yeah, it is in here. We might have to do... Oh, we might have to unlock the... Get these two done first. So we'll speed up to max speed. We'll let it crack on. 
Uh, reward for this is quite good. Do we want to put some more fish in there? That's the question. Uh, I think we do. I think we do. So what sort of fish can we put in there? Oh, there's a hermit crab. Uh, what can we pair with a hermit crab? Um, something that requires really good water quality because the hermit crab cleans it. Um, that, dis that dislikes food competitors. And it's housed with other species, not the same species. So that's fine. So one... Two. Let me pause it a second because they're dying. Um, actually, does that dislike crustacean though? No, it doesn't. It's fine. So, crab and crab and crab and there we go. Um, actually, might as well put one. Should we put one more in? No, we'll, we'll try it out later. Um, we'll put an anchor in the front because you know we're lavish. Uh, we'll have a combi filter in like so, which is just not good enough. So we'll put one more filter. And there we go. And they're requiring green. So I always go on the wrong tabs for, for these. Uh, we'll put green there. And we'll also get a, a tool station in. There we are. And we need to put other things in this tank as well to make it look a bit better. So we'll have... don't think we want a cave, but we'll have like a barrel in the back. Because why not? Maybe two would be a bit dodgy. Rubble. Yeah. Actually, what I might do is I'll pick up the barrel. Move it to there. Pick up the decoration 13, apparently. Um, and then decoration 12 barrel. Go on that corner there. That's a bit better. And um, probably some sea lettuce or something. I think sea lettuce will probably do. Just like a sea lettuce there and a sea lettuce there. And let's see what that looks like. I like that. I quite like that. That's very nice. And they're getting fed as well. So that should hopefully give us some good prestige, which it has. There you go. It's also giving us um, good research on this, so that's that's fine as well. So in terms of our next area, we're probably just going to do the same on the other side. So let's just unlock that. So um, how big do we have this? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think... Is that right? I'll pause it. So it is one, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. And we will um, probably just put walls around the bit for now. Or oh, do we want to build another tank? We could probably build another one of those corner tanks. Another couple of corner tanks just to put in like that. And then the wall back there. Yeah, that's that's fine, I think. There we are. Obviously there's nothing in there, so they're not gonna be happy. But that's alright. For now, because we'll be adding more stuff in there. So let's take a look at our tank in the centre and Quite frankly, I think that looks okay. Yeah, a bit bare down here. So might do something about that. Um, decoration. What sort of decoration? Maybe a bit of a bit of wood. No, we've already got some big stuff in there. Um, do we have any? Oh, we do have eelgrass. Yeah, eelgrass tends to look quite nice. Yeah, that looks okay. That looks a bit better. Yeah. Cool. So. Everything's getting fed. Everything's repaired. These tanks don't have any purpose yet, but we're just about to unlock that. Uh, you can see the Mori eels are now grown up. These ones here. And because of that, they now require uh, more filtering. That's something that uh, has caught me out a couple of times, actually. Um, when when you build it, you might think, oh, that's, that's just perfectly fine. But if there's something in there that grows, then you might have problems. So, because you, if you haven't accounted for that, uh, space-wise, you might not be able to put more filters in. And then you have to expand and put pumps in, and it's just messy. So anyway, there's our Disco Mushroom completed. We will now unlock probably a, um, a Longhorn Cowfish. So most corals, including Disco, disco Mushrooms, require light to uh, do that. The cost of light is proportioned to the size of the tank. Smaller tanks are cheaper to light. So if we're going to assume that one of these is going to be our corals, so we unlock the Protein Skimmer first but in here we should have lights yeah basic lights so these can get lights so we'll light that one up there and this is going to be our coral one 
I prefer the deeper tanks for the coral, but I guess this one will will be sufficient. And what we'll probably do is have protein skim around here. I'm probably going to need to expand this, actually. So we'll expand this land just a little bit. The reason for it is the protein skim is fairly large. and Actually, it's not large, it's the same size, but I want to I connect it to a pump, basically. So I want to put a pump in the middle and then pump it over. So let's do that. So it is in uh, needs, and then the basic pump, which we'll put in the center like so, and connect it up to that. And to be honest, we might as well do the same to that one. Because then we can fit uh, three things around. Actually, yeah, that is a point. We can might as well put it there, because even though you've got four spaces, even though you've got four spaces, you have to have access to that to repair it, so you can only really use three of them. So we will have... Uh, the protein skimmer and a couple other things as well. So the best thing to do probably is to use a power combi like right at the back there. Um, actually, which is the best way of doing it? Uh, that should be fine. And the protein skimmer goes in there. Once we have it, you understand, if we don't yet have it. And we'll place the Disco Mushrooms in there. So Disco Mushroom 1, Protein Skimmer 1, Sufficient Lighting, Sufficient Water Quality, and Sufficient Heating. Well, that should hopefully be done there. I mean, we could probably place them now, but they probably wouldn't be very happy about it. Uh, requires Plankton and Lighting 5, which we do have in here. Uh, lighting is 5, yeah. The bigger tanks go up to Lighting 10, and I think uh, probably it probably scales from there, doesn't it? Um, so we want to have them in there. Lightning's fine. Uh, it's just the food, really, that we need to put in. So we're going to put in a uh, plankton. There's our animal unlock. We're just going to go for the oblique-lined dotty back, and we're going to place this here. And as always, we pretty want we want a tool station over there as well. It'd be nice to have a, a broom, but we just don't. So, protein skimmer will be unlocked shortly, and then we'll have this. I don't know if we're going to have two of them as two of them as coral areas. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. I haven't yet decided. haven't yet decided. But at least these are alright. Let's, let's have a check at these ones. And Oh, there you go. Look, they're, I think they're fully grown now. Uh, there's our protein skimmer. Um, so we're going to go for a large filter. So, you've just unlocked the protein skimmer. Filtering alone doesn't reach... Uh, isn't enough to reach the high water qualities required for corals and delicate fish. You need protein skimming too. So add one to your disco mushroom tank and see the difference in water quality. So current water quality in here is 100 because there's nothing in there. So it's pure... Pure H2O, oh yeah. And we need to connect up a protein skimmer. So protein skimmer. Clicky. Alright. Animals. Or the disco mushrooms. So we've obtained our first coral and now we need to unlock the deep wall tank. So I'm going to start researching that to be honest with you. Um, and there's our coral. Why Why is it minusing? Looks a bit barren and lifeless. Well you are right but it's also because I haven't finished building it yet. Um, so we'll put those in and I like the idea of kelp but because it's not a deep tank I can't do that. So maybe I don't know what eel grass. I don't know what sort of thing would really look nice in there. Maybe just rocks. Maybe a bit of eelgrass at the back. And then some small rocks would like offset the darkness. So, well, not offset it, but like complement that. Oh yeah, they do. That's better. That's much better. And they'll grow as that progresses on. So that's going to um, yeah, they require feeding, which is now happening. Let's hire another person. So we want someone who's good at feeding. There's Rachel. She's good at that one. Um, there's feeding and fixing. No, I think it's going to be Rachel. So we'll hire... Oh, that's Fred and fixing. Rachel, hire. There we go. So we now have a total of three staff, I believe. Yes, we do. Okay. So we will unlock the deep wall tank and then build a deep wall tank. So where is the deep wall tank going to go? Well, I think it is probably going to be around here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some of this land, like so. Um, and we'll have to see what sort of size it is. But my guess is that it's going to be quite large. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. 
Hmm. Don't need to actually. Because the deep wall tank's probably going to be here. Let's just do that for now. I will have to sell some of that, obviously. And the deep wall tank's probably going to be here. But we'll just have to see how it goes. So, deep wall tank will be done shortly. All of these points, by the way, the research points we're gaining from the fishing. See, we're gathering there. So we gain research points and ecology points. Ecology used for unlocking the fish. Research for unlocking the technology. So that's fine. I wonder what the overall thoughts are of this thing. So I really like the half and half. Chromis. Uh, I like the royal, gra uh, royal grammar. I like the red tail butterfly flesh. I like the kelp and the disco mushroom. Disco mushroom? Disco corally thing. Is it disco mushroom? It is disco mushrooms, yeah. There you go. So that's good points. We also are level 4. To get to level 5, we, I think we need about 350 to 420 um, prestige. Let's go for new research. Lionfish. You've unlocked the, the oblique lined uh, dotty back, which dislikes... Um, Anything it doesn't it doesn't just like dotty backs grammars and Antheus, so we can't put it in there. Oh, and it's also greedy, <laughs> which is a thing. So how big is this tank gonna be? It's a deep wall one, so we, even if we put it here, it might be a bad idea. Because it's cramped, I'm at the very least I'm gonna sink this back over a bit. Actually, I think, and um, we can't remove those. But what I'll do is I'll probably place the tank and then I'll see about um, sorting the rest out. But in terms of land, I mean, we probably want to expand the land. And we'll have everything on either side of it and then just keep going back. When I last played, I had a problem where I, I built all the way around and then I need to do something else and I end up having to delete the toilet area and then expanding around this way. So it was iffy. So there's the deep wall tank. We'll go for the uh, large heater. And that's a deep wall tank, which requires the stairs. Basically, it's like this one in the center. So if we look for our deep uh, tanks here, we've got observer tank and a wall tank. So if we put a wall tank along here, it is it should be possible. However, I very much like something a bit different. Um, corner tank, no, and the observer tank, which sticks out either side. Question is, do a walk? Does a wall go along here? It does. On that case, then what I'm going to do is this, and have it pop out and go along like that. Yeah, that's that's what I'm aiming for. So, well, it can be quite large this tank, can't it? Well, yeah, it can be really big this tank. Hmm. It juts out more than I'd like. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, delete that. Get rid of all these. Get some more land. And... do that. It's not what I planned at all, but it'll go in like that. That's actually not bad. It's better than I thought. Right, so we can place stairwell there to get up to feed there, and then we'll basically put loads of stuff in there. So, That'll be our next episode's job. We're going to fill that tank with something. And we'll have to see what it is. It says any animals, fish and water quality, all that sort of stuff. So basically, probably one of the ones we've researched. So, I don't know. Uh, maybe the longhorn cowfish? Something like that. We'll have to we'll, we'll see, won't we? We'll see. Play it by. Play it by ear. So yeah, next episode, we'll go ahead and we'll put something in the tank. And expand on this side. And probably get the mission done. So, as always, hope you have enjoyed the video. By all means, let me know about... Uh, what you think we should do and expanding somewhere and that sort of thing and changes to be made. I'm probably going to put some um, benches here, maybe a vending machine. I think that would be a good choice. And then we'll have another door around here because it will be expanding as well. Once again, hope you've enjoyed the episode. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.